Hey, I'm Dave, and I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about some things for your pest control business to grow your business. Um, so I do. I have a pest control company. Let me start out saying I own a pest control company. It's in um, outside of DFW out now by Weatherford. I don't know if you know where that is, but it's a big it's a big country. It's a big world. So anyway. What I started doing was uh, SEO because I went to school for computer science, but my dad owned a pest control business and I was doing that. So, you know, but I was like, well, I spent all that money on my degree. Might as well go ahead and learn something, go ahead and learn how to use something for this. And I had built a little trap and in that trap, I was going to um, I was going to integrate this little chip into it. It's going to have AI that was going to basically tell you what was in the trap as a snake or what type of snake, you know, what, what you caught in there. And that led me down the path of studying AI more, which led me down the path of studying SEO more. It ties in. It does tie in that I learned how to use AI to advance my SEO. And I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of all that, but I got way more business than I wanted to get. And um, with that, I just kept growing. And all of a sudden I was like, I don't, I don't really want to do pest control as much as I want to do SEO. So I uh, broke a lot of things. I did some reverse SEO, which is really weird. I never thought I'd ever do, but I did. And I took on some, some customers in SEO and I grew their businesses. And from everything I've seen on their growth and everything, everything they're telling me, I'm, I'm getting growth and it's working out good. So anyway, SEO is all about search engine optimization. It's all about getting found. So let's go through this step by step. I've got a table of contents I'm going to try to go through that I wrote before that I'm going to basically talk about. So if uh, the the next one is going to be want to increase sales of your pest control service, you need pest control SEO services. Yeah, you absolutely do. Unless you're living in a small town and I've been there, I've been in Pecos, Texas and that small town, I didn't have to do SEO. I didn't even have to have a website. It was just you tell a few people, a few people know, they know your service, you do good. That's all you need. But when you're in a highly competitive area, like I'm, I'm the Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth region, and even the small towns around it, it's so competitive that you've got to really, you've got to really do something, you know? So yeah, you need it. And so, so let's get on to what is pest control SEO. So pest control SEO is, is all about, all about getting your business to grow without paying for ads without having to knock doors, without having to do any of that, people find you. People search for you online and people find you. They're going to find you or they're going to find Oricon or, or one of the other big guys or a small guy that is doing SEO right. So I want to help you with that. I want to show you some tips and stuff like that. So so we're going to go to the first example. What does it take to, if you want to rank for, um, let's, let's go with spiders, say spiders in Fort Worth. If you want to rank for spiders in Fort Worth and you want to do spider control, because that's your thing, you know, maybe it could be anything. You could be in termites, mosquitoes. It could be anything. But let's let's go with spiders. So basically, you would have your website. All right. And a lot of a lot of you guys have a website with like one page, you know, two, three, maybe a contact us, maybe an about us, maybe a, a with a home page and. You know, and and maybe a couple of the pages for different towns that you service to. And so if you really want to dominate like the spiders in Fort Worth, so you would have if if your main focus is Fort Worth and your homepage is, you know, Fort Worth pest control, pest control in Fort Worth. And you want to make sure you've got, first of all, you need to make sure you've got that that in your in your title of your homepage and in your H1. Now, I, I'm not get, trying to try not to get too technical on this. This is for everybody just to just to learn. But your main town, your main thing is it should be in there. So now on that, you're going to create another page. All right. So spider control in Fort Worth, spiders in Fort Worth, different things like that. My, my main thing, what I would probably recommend is have a page that says spider control in Fort Worth. And in that page, you're going to have a really long page about spider control in Fort Worth covering all the basics of it, but you really want that page probably to be up to 2000 words. It's possible. Now, if you look up, you know, spider control in a large city and you look at the top results, you will probably find a few pages that have on the very, on the first 10 results that have a lot of words. So then you'll see how they, how they organize it out all the way from, you may talk about, you know, the different spiders in Fort Worth, you know, the different techniques of spider control, 
places you might find spiders around your house, things like that. Now that alone is not going to cut it in a big, in a big area, most likely, you know, then you're going to want another page. And, you know, and, and in fact, several pages about spiders. So, so you may have a page about black widows. So you may have a, so let's, let's, name the, let's name this page, uh, black widow spider control. So on that, you're going to go through and you're going to not copy anything from the spider control page. And you're going to rewrite everything all about black widow spider control. All right, so you're going to go through and you're going to write this and that page is going to link to your spider control and Fort Worth page. And then underneath the black widows, you might, you might have another page, uh, a black widow FAQ, you know, black widow spiders and Fort Worth FAQ. And that you will get a bunch of frequently asked questions. Now, if to, there, there's different tricks to getting those FAQs, there's all kinds of tools, but you can also just go to Google and search, you know, black widow spiders. And when you search that, Google will suggest other questions and you can click those. And as you click those, you'll notice that you can get more and more results out of that. So I know this is going to bore a lot of y'all, but some of y'all are going to, you know, you pay attention. It's going to make you money. So I do all this for people. This is what I do for a living now. I, I do still do pest control, but I don't do a whole lot of it, but I mainly focus on SEO. So. So that, that's, that would be an example of a pest of how you would manage it. Now, if you have more than one town that you service, say you service, you know, Dallas-Fort Worth, you would have a Fort Worth page with that. And then you could go as far as having a Dallas page and then spider control in Dallas and so on and so forth. And the same structure, but every page is going to link up to the next, to the one above it, excuse me, which they're all going to link up to your pest control in Fort Worth page or pest control in Dallas or pest control in Seattle or wherever you're at. All right, so what that's going to do, because because here's the thing is websites with Google, websites don't rank, pages rank. And as that page ranks, then you're linking to the page up and that's passing what we call link juice, it's passing it up so that it's going to it's going to allow it to grow. So the pages above it get bigger and bigger because as you do this with all kind of different kind of pests, like, you know, you do 10 different kind of pests, everything from spiders, mosquitoes, bed bugs, roaches, uh, and so on and so forth. You know, you just go through all of it and they're all linking back to that page of pest control in Fort Worth. That, that alone, it properly done is going to help you dominate that town really easy. So, so I, I, I'd love, like I said, this is what I do. I, I got up at ridiculous this morning. I got up at two 30 and I decided to come into the office and get to work. I got up here about three 30 this morning and decided, you know what? I'm going to start out my day. I'm going to make a, make a YouTube live. So, and here's where I'm at. So uh, this is what I, um, so, so in pest control SEO, your, I guess next question is, you know, how, how much does a company charge to do all this for you? And I typically I'll go into a company and and I've got a I had a basic package that I was all right, I'll I'll tell you what I was charging. I was charging fifteen hundred where I was doing ten pages. And a lot of times that included to go and basically redo their whole site. Because a lot of times there's a, there's so many factors. Uh, it's that's why I stumble on my words. There's, there's so much to it, but I'm gonna try to go over the most important. So Basically, what I was doing is fifteen hundred dollars. I would be willing to do everything needed, and that includes creating a creating a Google My Business listing to be on the maps, to creating the the website, to creating and and really it was a content I was selling. That was what fifteen hundred dollars bought you ten pages of two thousand words of content. But almost everybody I went to, almost everybody that, that approached me for SEO for their pest control business, had an awful website. And I, I, I don't mean insulting. I just mean it need a lot of work. There's there's things that, that you can test on your website and it's all about page speed. So first thing I would test is page speed. So you just just Google page speed insights. It's a little cool, little cool little tool that Google has out there that um that you can go and put your website in and it'll tell you how fast your site's running. And a lot of times I'd go into a site and they'd be running like a 20 out of 100 speed. 30 out of 100 and 
that was just killing them. It was making what's called a bounce rate go up. And a bounce rate is if your page isn't loading fast enough, people aren't going to wait on it to load. They're not that dedicated to you. They're not, they're, they're not that committed to you. They're not your friends and family. These are organic SEO and it's organic traffic. That means they just search for spider control in Fort Worth and your page didn't load right up. They're clicking the back button. They're going to the next person. And that's sending a signal to Google saying, Hey, Google, this site isn't loading fast that we don't, people don't like this page for whatever reason, people don't like this page. They, they, and so Google ranks you down further and ranks your competition that they go to up higher saying, well, people like these pages, so we're going to rank them up. And that's why speed is the first, first thing. All right. And then um, the next thing is going to be, is going to be to me is content. You know, you got your page speed. How much content do you have? How much value are you bringing to that person? Are you going to, are you going to fill their what's called user intent? So their intent is to learn about a company that does spider control in Fort Worth. On the other pages, their intent could be to learn about spiders in Fort Worth. Maybe they're thinking about moving to Fort Worth and they want to know what spiders are there. So with that, they come in and they have 2000 words of content to read through and they may only want to read a few snippets. That's fine, but they're on your page and then they you get them into something to click something else. And that shows that they're, they're liking your page and Google sees that because Google sees everything. So that's just a given. So um, going back to going back to your your maps listing, you another first thing you've got to make sure is you're on Google Maps and you're ranking on it. You need to go in there and make sure that you're posting pictures, that you're posting posts on there like you do on Facebook, any other platform. And Google is Google Maps that's going to be your most important of all the platforms to go in there and be posting on. And you want to, you want to really optimize those posts. Like, like, like don't just post a picture of a wasp and say, here's a wasp I saw. You'll post a picture of a wasp and talk about what you do in wasp control and stories and, and stories are good. Talk about, you know, you're at this house and you saw this, huge wasp nest and it was the biggest you ever saw it was there are wasp everywhere and stuff bring them in make them want to read more of your stuff so that's that's on google maps that's that's all through your google business profile so if you don't have one go search google business profile set that up with your business make sure that's going and make sure you fill everything in throughout that so let's continue on I'd digress on that get a little sidetracked from my, from my planned talk here. So we talked about the spotters, uh, how much is pest control SEO? If you've got a company, I'll probably look at it for free. If you just message me and just tell you, you know, here's some right off the bat tips. I would, I would jump on these. I don't know how long I'll do that for free for people, but uh, I enjoy doing it. I'll pull up random companies sometimes just to find out why they're winning or why they're losing. So I've covered my SEO packages. Like I said, I like I think I'm like one eighty nine or two hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, you know, a page, two thousand word page. And I'm a certified applicator, so I mean, you can you can get it cheaper, but you're not going to get somebody that actually knows what they're talking about in this. And I do a lot of research for everything I write. So um. So do most pest control companies use SEO services? Uh, I would say any of them that are winning, any of them that are winning and all the way from the, the, some of the smallest to the biggest, if you look at, you know, you always see Oregon in your town. You always see, you know, they've got a lot of content. They write a lot of content. So, yeah. So will my potential customers know that I'm using search engine optimization? No, no. There's, there's no way for them to know you just content. I don't go in there and when I'm doing it for a client say, Oh, by the way, I am so-and-so and I'm an SEO expert doing this for XYZ pest control company. No, it's, they don't know. All they know is they found you. That's all they care. They found you and they hope that you do a good service for them. And I, I write content to help convince them to try you out. And I hope all my clients do great jobs for the people I write about. I don't want to be a liar. So let's see, uh, will my potential customers know? No, no, they won't. My potential 
potential customers know that we hired a pest control SEO services company. No, it, not with the right SEO company. Like I don't, I don't say anything. I don't, I, tr- I try not to ever. I have customers that, that don't mind if I share that I did work for them to other SEO or other pest control companies. But really, I believe in privacy. I believe it should look like the CA of the company, the responsible CA of the company, actually wrote the content. That's that's kind of my goal in it. I want them to I want them to look like they they wrote it. Like they they whether they know their stuff beyond passing a CA exam, a certified applicator exam, you know, I want it to look like they wrote it. So that's that's my angle. And I, I try to pick up on the cues of how they how they talk and you know whenever I take over and looking at their homepage and what they have on there. And looking at, you know, what, what I talk to my clients, like what you know, what their focus is, you know, what their focus pests are. And so so how do you, let's see the next one. How do I choose a pest control SEO company for my business? Oh man, research, research. Just, you want to make sure that they actually have experience in pest control. There's a lot of companies, a lot of SEO companies. And I, I get these emails all the time, phone calls all the time. Oh, I'm, I see you're, you're ranking on this, but I could fix everything and make you rank higher and all this. And, you know, some, some company that it's not somebody that's going to meet me for coffee, somebody that I, I'm probably not going to understand, be able to speak with them, you know, but they, they, they sell a hard game, but you know, there's a lot of disappointment around them. You want to, my, my thing, I always ask them, I always ask them, what can I search to find you? You know what, if you're if you're an SEO expert, what can I search to find you? You know, with me, if you search Weatherford SEO, that, that was kind of my target in the beginning. Now I stopped working so hard on that because I got busy. So, but I always ask them, what can I search to find you? And uh, most all of them will say, oh, uh, we don't, we, we just focus on our customer. We don't, we don't ever try to rank for anything ourselves. And that's that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> that's an absolute dead giveaway. But they they want to promise. Oh yeah, give us two hundred a month. Give us a hundred a month or whatever, and we're gonna make you rank. And they're just harvesting money. So let's see what's the next on here. So, so choose a pest control SEO expert that knows the business. Yep, yep. SEO for pest control companies. Uh, so what is SEO and Really, it's it's a, simply a search engine optimization. It's it's making your website appear to Google like it should be on page one for whatever you're targeting. That's plain and simple. At your website, it's 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 your your Google Maps listing. It's all that. It's my pest control business need SEO. I, I think I've covered that. I don't know why I've got that in there twice, but yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. How much does SEO cost? I've I've covered that as well. You know, it's anywhere from let me look at your stuff. Usually I'll do it for free, but a one page, maybe a couple hundred bucks to optimize that. A 10 page thing, 1500 bucks. You know, I could I could go and do a hundred pages for you. Almost almost every single or I think every single one of my customers has come to me to get 10 pages done for the 1500. Very fast, come back for another 10 pages because they see the results. And the next 10 pages, I have something to base it on by seeing the results because I'm looking at the Google rank and I know what to target next. So and they come back a third time and that's just explosion time because I can really dial it in at that point and really see what needs to happen next. So where do you start if I have a website? If you have a website, I start with an audit of that website. I make sure everything is perfect on that. If not, i uh, tell you where to go next, what we need to do, if we need to redo your website, if, you know, we just need to start content rewrite, whatever we need to do, because I've got some metrics I score things by to see, to see an SEO score. I've got several tools I use for that. I don't trust just one either. And, and I compare it in so many different ways to make sure that it's tweaked properly to grow properly. So, and if you don't have a, if you don't have a pest control website, I can build you one from scratch. And like I said on that, the $1,500 deal that I was doing it, that I don't know, I, I raised my price to 2,500 on my website. I would probably, I, I don't want to commit to it, but I, I don't know how long I'll commit to this, but I'd probably take on a few more at that rate. You know, if somebody saw this video and wanted to do it, 
you know, it's maybe not a month from now, but you know, right now I've, I've got a little time because I just finished off a lot of things and I've been putting on a lot of hours to get through a lot of stuff. So, so how do I get my pest control company on Google maps? So to get your pest control company on Google maps, you need to go create. All right. If, if now, now you might already be on Google maps, look up your business first on Google, look at maps and see if you're already listed. If you are, then claim my business and then Google will send you a postcard in the mail and that'll prove that you're the owner. If not, then you need to go search Google business profile and then click on that. Not any of the ads, but an actual Google site and then start, start going through everything and just be as, as honest as you can. Don't, don't say you're, you know, if you're in Fort Worth, say you do work in Houston. If you don't do work in Houston, don't add too much in your towns because that can drown you out. Don't add services that you don't do. Make sure you do them and don't, don't, you know, don't, don't get too, don't get, don't dilute your services either. So that's important not to dilute it. So let's see, um, citations and how they help with SEO. So citations will, will, what it's called a lot of times it's called NAP, you know, name, address, phone number, and usually URL along with that. Everywhere that you can get that, that's not a spammy thing. Everywhere you can get it, put it. If you have an Instagram, if you have a Twitter, if you have a TikTok, if you have a Facebook, if you have anything you have, your website, make sure you always have your business name, your address, your phone number, and your website. And on your website, if your website is HTTPS, which it better be HTTPS, not HTTP, because otherwise you're not you're not getting listed. So it's a security. Make sure make sure you got HTTPS on your website. But after that, is it www or is it not www? So it's it's really your preference of what what is your website right now? Is it www or not www? So whatever it is, stay consistent. Always stay consistent because that's actually, believe me, believe me, it's two different websites. The www and non www can be two different websites. So, and Google's aware of this, so they they are. It's it's gonna it's gonna mess you up if you go start putting www when your site's not or vice versa. Make sure it matches. Make sure your homepage matches and always link to that homepage. So, make sure that matches. So that that's your um the that's your um name, address, phone number, citation, and website citation. So when you search, all right, so if, you, if you're if you in Fort Worth, per, search Pest Control Fort Worth, anything that's not a pest control company, find out if you can get in there too. You know, so if it's anything from, I, I, not the biggest fan of Yelp, but if you can get in there, you know, if you can get in to, to go submit, if you see like, you know, Bing Maps, another. <coughs> excuse me, Bing Maps is another place to get listed, Apple Maps, things like that. And any anything that you see coming up that you see your competition being listed on, see what it would take to, for you to get listed on there too. And that, that builds credibility of your location. So, so let's see. Keywords for pest control SEO. That's, that's, uh, that's so much. So you really... Um, I'll, I'll probably build a page later and talk about the different keywords in pest control, but, um, there's a lot, there's a lot. I mean, you, you may not call yourself an exterminator. You may not, you know, call yourself an IPM company, integrated pest management company, but, but Google's expecting that there's things that Google's expecting on your page. So you may shy, you may not shy away from using those words on parts of that content of your page, because, you know, that's, that's just what Google's expecting, you know, get rid of, get rid of, you know, roaches, get rid of bed bugs, get rid of is that one. There's a, there's a whole lot of different ones. And, and, um, really, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. I can see if I can find some at the end of this. If anybody asks after I get done, then I'll, I can, I can give you a list of some of the most basic ones for pest control. So I, I use tools that analyze top resulting websites and the, all the major towns. And 
that lets me know what what everybody's using, you know. So, so let's see. Let's see what's next. How do I queue up? So on-site SEO for pest control companies. There. So let's go over on-site. What on-site is is anything, anything on your page. That's that's things that people see on your page. So we'll start with that with a title tag. So every page should have a title. So in that title should be your focus key phrase. Your home page would obviously be you know pest control town name, exterminator town name, whatever town name, you know, that should definitely be in your title tag. You can add more to it, but that should be in your title tag, your, your meta description. And, it, you know, I, I even go back and forth on the argument of should you even have your business name in there if it doesn't have the, the pest control or it doesn't have your town name? Uh, it's, it's all up to you. It's, but you really just need to make sure you've got that town name and you've got your service name. So uh, meta description, this is going to be what people are reading when they search. This is what they find in the description of the page they found. And if you if you don't accurately do this, Google will scrap whatever you put down and they'll pick it for you. So you want to be accurate, but you want to be you want to have a catch in there. You want to have a hook. You want to have something in that description, just like in that title tag, something that makes them say, I want to click on this. I think this is what I'm looking for. So H1 and H2 tags. So your H1 tag, that's your that's your main title tag. Not your main title tag, but your main heading tag. So each page should only have one H1 tag. That's your heading. And in that heading, you're going to make sure you have the most important keyword, the most important thing for that page. If it's your homepage and you're a Fort Worth, SEO, or Fort Worth pest control company, you're going to want to make sure that H1 has something about pest control Fort Worth, you know, and, and to say things like best, great, you know, highest rated, things like that. Those are good things, you know, things that, that have a little hook to them, you know, and then your H2 tags, that's each of your subheadings. So, you know, a lot of times I'll do a page, I may have 20 or 30 H2 tags and that's different subheadings throughout there. You know, the, the, what I'm going through right now, this page about, you know, pest control SEO is 36 H2s. So, I mean, really the more the better because Google sees those and that increases your possibility of those getting searched, each of those H2 tags getting searched and the content inside of them, if they're good enough, then, you know, that's going to help you rank on that. And then another thing it's going to do is inside of each of those you can have links inside your website i wouldn't recommend you know 30 40 links on your home page but some more some of the more important ones you can link out you know like spider control and fort worth h2 could link to a page in the paragraph or two below it to your spider control and fort worth page so that's that's how that works so you just want say content 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 lots of relevant, good content, and you want to be able to read it and not bore yourself to death. So, and you can't just, just keyword stuff. It's gotta, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta look good. I recommend using Grammarly when you write and just make sure it sounds good. And, and, um, short paragraphs, short sentences, short paragraphs, you know, keep their attention. So, um, anchor text, that's like your H2s. You could have that as an anchor text to where, you know, that that is actually a link to your homepage to that particular section of your page. So when somebody searches for that, they're actually going to go right to that section of your page. Now, if you got two to 4,000 words in your site, you don't want them going to go near the top of your homepage. I'm going to search through and find it. That's where Google will direct them right to it and it'll pull it up to that right section. So your image optimization, you want fast images. Stop with the big files. Don't go straight from your phone to your website with your pictures. Do not do this. Do not go in there. If you're using something like WordPress, use WebP images. Find a WebP image converter. Uh, that's you just you want lightweight. They don't need museum quality images of that cockroach because that's going to slow your website way down. 
Now, another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the name of your files. If your file is 0148674.jpg or something, how does Google understand that? But if you're, if it's a spider, black widow spider, you know, I would name it something like it for, for, if I was doing a Fort Worth page, you know, black widow spider, you know, found during a, found black widow found during a spider control job in Fort Worth dot JPEG or dot web P something descriptive, you know, go crazy with it. Don't be too spammy, but have a few of those. So when people search that, that image is going to come up on the image search and they're going to come over to your website through that. So, and then also on the images, you want to, you want to have a meta description of that. And that's, uh, you know, and have, have be descriptive, be as descriptive as you want. I think that Google says they read the first 18 words of it, of, you know, your, your, your meta on your images, but, um, but be descriptive. So let's see, uh, internal linking structure. This is the links inside your website very important for a good internal link structure you you don't want too many links all over the place but you want to link to the right pages so what's your most important service you want to make sure to link to that service page what's your most important second most important town that you service if you have a town page for that link to that all of the pages below all the other pages should be linking back in and climbing back up so that's gonna that's gonna boost your rank of that main page. So content, content, content. Like I said, lots of content. It's a lot of work. It's a whole lot of work. I I, I way undersell myself on what I do. I promise. It is a lot of work involved. Um, so I, you know, like I said, I, I've been doing free pest control website audits. You know, and I think. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, I do I do pest control as well, and sometimes I get a little choked up on things. So, you know, in the business since I was 16, 17 years old, I'm 45 now. I guess I've probably gone a few times out wearing a mask, and every now and then I get a little cough. So um, I'm not trying to discourage you. If you want to start a pest control business, practice safety. Practice safety. So, um Let's see, organic SEO. That that's what this is all about. Is organic SEO, the the non-organic SEO is, is it's not really real. It's um so that's like paid ads. You know, you're 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 paying every time to get a customer to your site. You may be paying five dollars to get somebody ten dollars, twenty dollars, just to get somebody to visit your website and hope that they close the deal, hope that they call you, hope that you get actually to get the job out of it. It's, that gets real expensive real fast. It'll get you customers, but you'll spend a lot of money real quick. You know, I, I can help with that, but it's, it's, I would prefer you doing some more, some SEO, you know, along with it so that you're not stuck in that rut. So best control internet marketing. That's just, you know, it's, it's what it's all about, you know, with, and with any business it doesn't have to be pest control, but this is all about pest control businesses. So competitive analysis, I like to see what your, comp your competition is doing. Go out there and search, you know, search your town pest control, your town exterminator, this and that, and different variations of it. See who's ranking on maps. See how far down you are on maps. See who's on top and look at their stuff. Look at their services page. What do they have on there that you don't? What are they doing that you're not doing? Look at their reviews. Look at how their top reviews are. You know, if you can guide your customers to leave those top tops of reviews that you're seeing on the top of your client, of your, of your, um, of your competition. Great. You know, I, I build relationships with my customers. I, I, I've got customers I go over and they, they want to put on a pot of coffee and, you know, hang out. That's just the kind of business I ran in pest control. You know, I've had them feed me dinner. I've, you know, it's it, it's just I have fun. I enjoy making friends with them, and you know, I'm, I get along with people. That's 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 what you got to do. Remember things about them. You know, 
remember when, when they have a baby, how, how's that baby doing? You know, the grandbaby, you know, different things like that. They start a new job, you know, what, whatever, just, just try to be involved. That's, that's always going to get you repeat. Always, always. So, um, they'll also be your biggest allies on, on when somebody on a Facebook group is asking who to use for pest control. If you're their friend, if you become their friend, they are going to recommend you. So let's see. I'm not saying you got to give them Christmas presents, you know, but just be a friend. So keyword research. I do a lot of keyword research. Like, you know, example of uh, like uh, forward pest control and forward pest control. Some of the keywords I might want to have in there is communities inside of Fort Worth, like, you know, Lake Worth or, you know, um, Saginaw, Benbrook, you know, different, different areas of that. And in fact, if I was really targeting Fort Worth, I would have a page for Lake Worth Pest Control, I have a page for Saginaw, for Northside, for, for wherever, for downtown area, you know, for um, all the different subdivisions, even if you really want to go hard, and all those pages link back to your Fort Worth Pest Control page. See, you see how this is working? So, um, so content writing, like I said, it's content, content, content. This is what I do. This is you could, you could pay me, you know, to write you hundred pages. I'd be tickled pink. I would just sit there and I would research the crap out of each page, and I would write and write and write, and I average like two thousand words a page. Sometimes it warrants up to, you know, 4,000 words a page or 1,000 words a page. It really depends on what it is. So, um, you know, the market insights is looking around and seeing, you know, uh, and part of the part of the that goes back to some of the keyword research, too, is how many people are searching <coughs> for a particular thing. That's your market insights. Uh, you know, you want to look at, you know, how competitive is it and how you know, what, what is it like, like, you know, I know in, uh, I was looking at something, I think it was Boise. I think there was like 1300 people a month search for pest control, you know, and it's just, you, you find out, you know, how big of a market do we have here? You know, so that's some of the things I do, some of the research I do, you know, pest control website developer. Yes. I build pest control websites. It's, it's, it's not really, it's not really exactly what I'm selling, you know, but when you have a, a really slow website, I will put something together for you. In fact, you know, if you want to pay extra, my wife will get in there and she's, we both, we both went to school for computer science. She went back to school after and I didn't. And she went back and studied uh, aside from, from some en other engineering stuff. She studied uh, graphic design. So, and she's always been my go-to for, for help and, and all that stuff. So she's the main website person. I do the back end, the, the, the setting up the server, so like that, setting everything all up. And I use a lot of Google cloud, you know, and just, I get everything all set up and going. I get it tweaked out with the SEO on there and she goes in there and she makes it, she makes it look good. So, you know, I, I I was, I was being kind of dumb and I was kind of giving her services away and, and that's, that wasn't fair to her. <laughs> you know, it's kind of all, all in the family, but it wasn't fair. So I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. So if you want, if you want your website to look even prettier, you know, that's where she'll go in there and, and tweak it out like that. You know, so, um, so compliance checks, you want to make sure everything's compliant. You want to make sure it's not too spammy, you know, your um, SERP availability. You want to make sure your, your, your pages are getting picked up. They're getting indexed. So uh, search console, uh, Google search console, that's going to let you know what pages are indexed on your site. If they're not indexed, you want to find out why they're not indexed. That's a whole different video on that. So, but you just, you, if you don't have your search engine, is there your search search uh, Google Search Console set up or your Google Analytics set up? Drop everything and go do that. Go set that up. Make sure so you know what's actually happening. Uh, conversion optimization. That's where if you're getting a hundred people to your website and you're only getting one phone call, that conversion's bad. 
So you need to find out why. You need to find out what's being said on your side that's stopping people from calling. Now, if you're only getting, you know, a visitor every other day and you're not getting calls, well, it's all a numbers game. You've got to wait and grow at SEO to grow it to where all of a sudden you're getting, you know, that, you know, 20 visitors a day, 50 visitors a day, 100 visitors a day. If, if you're in a big enough market and you do SEO properly, then you'll have that, you know, you just, you just really want to work your SEO to get your numbers up and then you can start tweaking out and figure out why the conversion is happening. Just, just like you click through. So how many people see like on your Google search console, which again, I need to go do another video on it, but you want to make sure and find out why is it, why, why aren't people clicking on it? And that's where you go in there and you can just really optimize your title, optimize your meta description of your page and give it a couple of weeks and find out what happens. If it isn't going to increase or it goes down, then, you know, change it up again. Find out what the top pages, the top three pages or two pages look like on every major town in pest control or whatever keyword it is. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're putting in there and optimize, tweak it the way the way they're doing it. You know, and reporting and analytics, that's what I've already gone over. That's you got to have analytics to be able to see these numbers. So it's these are free tools by Google. Google gives these tools absolutely free to help you out. So you want to get in there and just see see what see what it is, see what's happening. So anyway, I don't I don't believe I've ever done a live one before, a live stream. So I I hope this helps some of y'all. Again, this isn't just about pest control. Any any service business, really any business, this is this covers all of it. And um, you know, just uh, just just message me if you want me to take a look at your business. And like I said, any type of business, I'll take a look at it and see what's going on, see why you're not ranking, and see what I can do to help you out. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I hope this was helpful to y'all. I didn't really expect anybody to join in the live because it's ridiculously early, and I hope you're asleep, resting, getting ready for a busy day because springtime is here. And if you're in pest control, it's hot out there. It's getting at least at least out down here in the south. It's um, the bugs are coming out. So we actually have some rain today, I think. So I'm I'm not thinking I'm doing anything else other than just working on SEO for clients today. So shoot me over a message. You can message me through through here. You can message uh, the nerd for that at gmail.com. That's T H E N E R D F O R T H A T, the nerd for that at gmail.com. So you find me on Facebook, uh, the nerd for that, or Dave Looper, the second. So again, that's D A V E Looper, L U P E R, and then two I's at the end. You'll probably find me pretty easy on there and you send me over a friend request. I post some cool stuff on there about SEO and pest control and whatnot. So anyway, get a hold of me and see if I can help you out. All right. Y'all have a good day.